Thank you, sir. Greetings to all the attendees and dignitaries present here. I extend a heartfelt welcome to this global conference. Uh, with immense pleasure, I would like to introduce Captain Fahad Ibn Masood. With over two decades of experience in aviation, Captain Fahad Ibn Masood stands as a fervent advocate for cross-cultural collaboration in the skies. Beyond piloting aircraft, his profound grasp of social cultural increases shape his approach to navigating the global aviation arena. He stands as a beacon, bridging divides and fostering dialogues as a profound member of Royal Aeronautical Society. Through his thought leadership, he advocates his inclusive air shows, practices, and champions culturally sensitive approaches, ensuring aviation's evolution aligns with the diverse perspective. Captain Masood's global network, mentoring thousands of aviation experts, serves as a testament to his commitment to fostering cross-cultural understanding. With expertise in navigating technological complexities and bridging academia with industry, he paves the way of innovation rooted in harmony and cultural awareness. In his pursuit, Captain Masood envisions a vision future where aviation thrives through exclusive, efficient, and culturally sensitive advancement. Now I invite Captain Fahad to deliver remarks to the participants. Over to you, sir. Good day, everyone. I hope you guys can hear and see me as well. Yes, sir, you're clear, clearly visible and audible to us. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, and thank you for the introduction as well. Um, I'll quickly go over my own discussion here. Imagine this, you're scrolling through social media bombarded by the usual cycle of political clashes and economic wars. Suddenly, a video pops up. It's a group of teenagers, one with vibrant henna designs, another with a mop of curly hair, another with eyes that sparkle with mischief, all huddled around a laptop. Their faces of tapestry and excitement in their eyes. They've just cracked the coding challenge. Their laughter echoing through the screen. What's the one thing uniting these teenagers from seemingly disparate corners of the world? One word, collaboration. In a world often painted with division, this scene reminds us of the immense power that lies in fostering cross-cultural collaboration, especially in the tech-driven present contemporary landscape that we navigate today. Esteemed guests, distinguished faculty, and fellow innovators, today I stand before you to discuss a very, very important component. In today's rapidly evolving world, characterized by relentless march of technological progress and ever-expanding reach of globalization, we find ourselves standing on the threshold of unprecedented possibilities. It's a world where once insurmountable barriers of geography, language, and culture are being transcended by the boundless potential of human collaboration. Once we stood separate, now we stand together. Imagine, if you will, the convergence of minds from diverse backgrounds, each bringing their unique blend of perspectives, insights, and experiences to the table. This mosaic of cultural diversity forms the foundation upon which we can build future brimming with innovation, creativity, as well as progress. Consider the monumental endeavor that is the Large Hadron Collider, aka LHC. Nestled within the sprawling expanse of CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, the LHC stands as a beacon of human ingenuity as well as collaboration, representing the collective effort of over 10 thousand scientists and engineers from more than a hundred countries across the globe. Together, they have pushed the boundaries of scientific knowledge, 
unlocking the mysteries of the universe and reshaping our understanding of the cosmos. The universe is ever expanding and we need to learn more about it. But the power of cross-cultural collaboration extends far beyond the realm of particle physics. It permeates every facet of human endeavor, from business and technology to art and literature. In the field of medicine, for example, international collaboration has led to groundbreaking discoveries and innovations that have saved countless lives on the global scale. Whether it's the development of the life-saving vaccines, the sharing of medical expertise across borders, or the collaborative efforts that combat global health crisis, such as the recent COVID-19 pandemic. The importance of cross-cultural collaboration can never be overstated. In the realm of business and entrepreneurship, multinational corporations are leveraging the strengths and diversities of teams to drive innovation and gain a competitive edge in the global marketplace. From the Silicon Valley startups to the multinational conglomerates, companies are tapping into the collective wisdom of employees from different cultural backgrounds to, to develop products as well as services that resonate with customers around the world. Indeed, the possibilities unleashed by cross-cultural collaboration are as vast and varied as cultures and communities that comprise our global society in a world where the pace of change shows no signs of slowing down. It is imperative that we embrace diversity, cultivate empathy, and foster a spirit of openness and inclusivity in all our collaborative efforts. Because together we can go the farthest and that is the ultimate truth. As we embark on this journey together, let us remember that our differences are not obstacles, but we overcome by sources of strength to be celebrated. By harnessing the power of cross-cultural collaboration, we can unlock new opportunities, drive innovation, and build a brighter future for the generations to come. Looking at beyond borders, there are multiple success stories in this connected world. In our journey into the realm of the real world success stories that vividly illustrate the transformative power of cross-cultural collaboration. One remarkable example lies within the domain of public health, the Global Polio Eradication Initiative. Conceived as a global partnership between governments, international organizations, and grassroots volunteers, the GPEI has waged a tireless battle against polio, a crippling and potentially fatal disease. Spanning continents, and cultures, the GPEI exemplifies the triumph of collaboration over adversity. Through mass vaccination campaigns, surveillance efforts, and community engagement initiatives, the GPEI has made remarkable strides in reducing polio cases by over 99% since its inception in 1988. This monumental achievement stands as a testament to what can be accomplished when nations unite in a pursuit of a common goal, transcending political, cultural, and geographic boundaries. Another inspiring example of cross-cultural collaboration can be found in the realm of scientific research, particularly in the field of space exploration. Consider the International Space Station, the ISS, a shining beacon of human ingenuity and cooperation orbiting high above the Earth. Constructed through the collaborative efforts of multiple space agencies, including NASA, Roscosmos, ESA, European Space Agency, 
JAXA, which is Japanese, and CSA. The ISS serves as a symbol of international collaboration and scientific advancement. Crewed by astronauts from around the world, the ISS fosters a spirit of camaraderie and collaboration, transcending national rivalries and geographical tensions. Through joint research projects, technological innovations, and shared experiences, the ISS embodies the spirit of unity and cooperation that lies in the heart of cross-cultural collaboration. Closer to home, in the realm of arts and culture, cross-cultural collaboration has given rise to some of the most groundbreaking and impactful works of our time. Take, for example, the global phenomenon that is the Marvel Cinematic Universe, aka MCU, born out of collaboration between filmmakers, writers, actors, and artists from diverse cultural backgrounds, the MCU has captivated audiences around the world. With its epic storytelling, diverse characters, and groundbreaking visual effects. From the streets of New York to the mystical realms of Asgard, the MCU celebrates the rich tapestry of human experience, weaving together elements of mythology, science fiction, and contemporary culture into a cohesive and immersive narrative. Through its global appeal and cultural resonance, the MCU serves as a shining example of the power of cross-cultural collaboration to transcend borders, unite audiences, and inspire generations at large. In each of the examples that I gave, we see the transformative impact of cross-cultural collaboration in fostering innovation, driving progress, and building bridges. Success stories which reaffirm our commitment to collaboration, cooperation, and mutual understanding across cultures and borders, we need to build bridges, brick by brick, overcoming all challenges in front. As we marvel at the remarkable success stories of cross-cultural collaboration, it's crucial to acknowledge the challenges that inevitably accompany such endeavors. While benefits are undeniable, navigating the complexities of working across cultural divides requires patience, empathy, and the willingness to confront and overcome obstacles. One of the most significant challenges in cross-cultural collaboration stems from differences in communication styles, norms, as well as expectations. What may be considered direct and assertive communication in one culture could be perceived as confrontational or disrespectful for that in another culture. This divergence in communication styles can lead to misunderstandings, frustrations, and even conflict within the multinational teams. Furthermore, cultural differences in work ethics, decision-making processes, and hierarchical structures can pose significant challenges. For example, cultures that prioritize consensus building and collective decision-making may clash with those that value individual initiative and autonomy. These differences can result in tension, inefficiency, and a lack of alignment within collaborative projects. Language barriers present yet another obstacle to effective cross-cultural collaboration. While English may serve as the lingua franca of the global business world, fluency in a common language does not guarantee effective communication. Nuances, idioms, and cultural references can easily get lost in translation, leading to confusion as well as misinterpretation among other and valued team, team members. So how do we overcome these challenges and build bridges of understanding in the face of cultural diversity? That is the million dollar question. 
the key lies in cultivating empathy embracing diversity and investing in effective communication strategies across the stage first and foremost empathy is essential in fostering mutual respect and understanding among team members from different cultural backgrounds walk in the shoes of others before we pull a judgment by putting ourselves in other shoes and seeking understanding their perspective values and communication styles we can bridge cultural divides and build stronger more cohesive teams embracing diversity as a source of strength rather than a source of division is also critical instead of viewing cultural differences as obstacles to be overcome we should celebrate them as opportunities for learning growth and innovation by harnessing the unique perspectives insights and experiences that each team member brings to the table we can unlock new creative solutions and drive meaningful change in this world of ours investing in communication tools and strategies tailored to the needs of multicultural teams is another essential aspect of successful cross cultural collaboration from the real time translation software and multilingual communication platforms to cultural sensitivity training and cross cultural communication workshops there are a variety of sources available to facilitate effective communication and foster a culture of collaboration and inclusion diversity needs to be valued inclusion needs to be a priority finally fostering open and transparent communication channels is crucial in building trust fostering collaboration and resolving conflicts within a multinational team encouraging active listening promoting constructive feedback and creating a safe space for open dialogue can help mitigate understandings clarify expectations and strengthen interpersonal relationships across cultural boundaries more often for success it is not what you know but who you know that counts by embracing empathy diversity and effective communications and open dialogue we can overcome the challenges of cross cultural collaboration and harness the full potential of our diverse global workforce together once again brick by brick we can build bridges of understanding that unite us in our shared pursuit of innovation progress as well as excellence now is a time to call for action we need to build a collaborative synergistic future for all of us and the future generations as we reflect on the power and potential of cross cultural collaboration it is clear that we stand at a pivotal moment in the human history the challenges we face from climate change to global health crisis to economic inequality and social injustice are complex and multifaceted transcending national borders and cultural boundaries yet in the face of adversity we have an opportunity to rise above our differences and come together as a global community confront these challenges head on face to face this esteemed conference hosted by the b school alongside our esteemed collaborators serves as a microcosm of the future we envision a future where diverse minds come together across borders fostering innovation and tackling global challenges but this conference is more than just an event it's a call to action a call to build bridges of understanding cultivate empathy and embrace diversity as a source of strength and inspiration so what can we do to turn this vision into a reality 
how can we translate our collective aspirations into tangible, deliverable actions that drive positive change in the world? Once again, that is a question to ponder. First and foremost, we must recognize that the future is not built in isolation. It is built in synergy, together through collaboration, cooperation, and mutual respect. By forging partnerships and alliances across cultures, sectors, as well as disciplines, we can leverage the collective wisdom and expertise of diverse stakeholders to address the most pressing challenges facing our planet. That is, once again, global climate change, the pollution that is there, and we need to leave this world a better place for the future generation. Second, we must prioritize education and training programs just like this conference that promote cultural competence, cross-cultural communication skills, and intellectual understanding. By equipping individuals with the knowledge and awareness, as well as the tools they need to navigate cultural differences, effectively we can foster a more inclusive and equitable global society. Third, we must advocate for policies and initiatives that promote diversity, equity, and inclusion in all aspects of society, from the boardroom to the classroom. By creating environments that value, celebrate, and enjoy diversity, we can unlock the full potential of every individual and harness the power of collective intelligence to drive innovation, as well as progress. Last but not the least, we must lead by example, demonstrating the principles of collaboration, empathy, and mutual respect in our daily interactions as well as decision-making processes, whether it is in the workplace, the community, or the global stage. Each of us has a role to play in building a more collaborative, and inclusive world. As we embark on this journey together, let us remember the words of Helen Keller. Alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. Let us seize this moment as an opportunity to build future brimming with harmony, innovation, and shared prosperity a future where barriers that divide us are replaced by bridges of understanding brick by brick and cooperation. I thank you all. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for your valuable words. I'm most uh, grateful to you.